Hello, this is Ace with John. I'm here to quickly walk you through how to change your old multi-pane fragment uh, app into a multi-pane fragment app that is dynamic. One of the first things you need to do is you need to go into your layout and go to your activity my, that's the landscape version. I want to get rid of that. So just show that uh, in uh, Explorer. Right click and delete it. That way we're only dealing with the one XML version. Another thing that I would like for you to do um, is make some more Java files and some more XML files, but we'll do that after we're done dealing with uh, the activity my and the my, my activity uh, Java files. These are the two primary ones we're going to work with first. All right, let's look at the activity my. Now it used to be that they had this fragment here on here and it was loading this class. We want to make this dynamic and not static. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into here and change the fragment to frame layout and then delete uh, the name equals class or name, whatever's there. Uh, they're both the same thing. Uh, what happens to be there just delete that line and you'll end up with this file and that's the only things you need to do there um, one thing that I did do that you don't necessarily have to do is I gave my layout down here uh, 130 DP is a width uh, it's fine the way it in the default it works uh, it, so it, it's fine make sure that your your second layout is called side panel and your first layout is called primary panel. Uh, this may be called something else. I think initially we had it labeled as main panel. We need to change that name because I don't use that name in this section. All right, then go over to my activity Java. And we want to delete all of this ex excess stuff. We don't want any of that in there. Now, basically, we're just going to start with the protect void uh, super statement. And at the top, you need to add fragment, frag, colon. And it may uh, come, fragment may come up red, and then you have to do, may have to do the alt enter. And another, th well, we'll talk about that in a second. And then fragment transaction, frag tran, and then close it. And then after activity my, put in a line and then put in this line, frag equals new main panel fragment, semicolon, new line, frag train equals get fragment manager, begin transaction dot add r dot id primary panel comma frag. And what this line does is it creates a new instance of the main panel fragment, uh, which is that right there and then it will load that into your primary panel. And then basically what you can do is just copy and paste that bit of code underneath it and then change it to button panel fragment, which is that, and do the same thing except put that in the side panel. And when you run your program, this will load up very first thing, it will load up this main panel and this button panel in their respective places. Another thing that you need to do is if you're doing this and you run across a lot of red ink, uh, I've got this up here initially as fragment activity. You need to change that to activity, extends activity, and then you will need to use import uh, the activity import for that. Uh, so your top should look like this, activity, fragment, fragment transaction, and bundle. Next we'll work on main panel fragment.java. It's pretty much gonna stay the same as it used to be loading into main panel contain false uh, make sure that the imports look like this and then what we're going to do with that is you need to right click copy and then just paste it in two more times and then go into each of these and just change it to main panel fragment 2 
and then main panel 2. We haven't created the main panel 2, but we will as soon as we get done copying and pasting these. So again, this would be 3, same exact thing, same imports, panel 3. And then once you've got that done, we're going to go down here to main panel. One thing I want you to check is make sure that on your panels, my panel fragments, or any of the others, and if you've got fragment here extended, make sure that you get rid of this because this is the incorrect thing to load. Go down here, Alt Enter. It'll give you two choices. Choose the dot app without the V4 and you won't have any troubles with that. Next we want to look at the main panel XML and if you'll notice it stays the same. Nothing really changes in here. So now that you've got the main panel open, right click, copy, and then paste two additional copies of it. Uh, but rename them panel 2 and panel 3. And what I did is I simply added a picture to the center of mine. So it's that's all there is. Just, the, just something to tell that, that, you can ch that you've been changing pages. If you don't want to worry with pictures, you can just change the uh, background. One thing I did do with the uh, main panel is I changed uh, uh, the I used to have the drawable in the background and I changed it to the actual putting into source ah, looking at the wrong thing from here to there and that's all I did now once you have those created when you go back into your main panels fragment 2 that should no longer be red so you're all set there now we need to go into uh, the most heavily modified Java is in button panel. Pretty much leave everything here if you want to. You can get rid of the notes, make it a little easier to work with. And what we're going to do is add a bunch of stuff. The fragment frag variable and the fragment translation frag tran. And now make sure that when you do this, it will probably come up with red. So you just Alt Enter. And then after you've got that done, come down to here. And we're going to add button because this is where the buttons are going to be. Button 1 equals button view.findView by ID r.id button one semicolon now this probably is going to give you an error because in the original I've got return inflator right here so we need to change that so that it'll have something to return we're just gonna put view view equals inflator and at the very bottom we'll put return view so it'll return something so it won't give that not returning something error so we'll do that and once you've got that one line for created for the button copy it and just paste it over and over and then change the button one to two the button one to three and then put button two and button three there and they're done with that next we need to do the on click listeners so now that we've got button one set button one dot set on click listener and then in the argument new view dot on click listener and then when you're done with that, it should auto populate to public void. And after that curly bracket, we add this line frag equals new main panel fragment frag tran equals get fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace. And then the argument is r to id primary panel frag semicolon frag tran dot commit and that's how you do that and this is replace because if you look on main activity we've got frag print right here and you can actually copy and paste this but it uses add because this is the first time we're putting in there I used add but since when uh, when we get to the panels uh, on the buttons we are replacing 
rather than adding. So this is not the first time that this will have something put in it, so we're going to replace. And once you've got this written, you just simply copy. Uh, just simply copy that, paste it twice, and do the same thing for button two. And then you do change main panel fragment two there, button three, and then change main panel fragment three. And then make sure your return view and your two curly braces are down here. And you're done with the button. Button panel XML. What we're going to do here is actually remove some things. Come in here and get rid of these last two buttons. And we can rename this one uh, hmm, button panel text ID button. What we're going to call these are, uh, I believe, button one, button two, button three. Let's go check real quick what we called them in button panel, button listener is listening for button one, button two, button three. So those need to be button one, button two, and button, button three. So button one, button two, button three. And you can call them anything you want. I'm going to call the first one, I believe, something like um, robot. Second one, I think I'll name bird. And the second one, third one, I think I named worm. For the purposes of this demonstration, it's not terribly important. Robot, worm, and bird, uh, as long as they're just, you know, different words. And when you click them, something happens. So, now that you've got the buttons done, You get this. You click top button, middle button, and bottom button. Bottom button loads the bird. Middle button loads the worm. And the top button loads the robot. And that's a dynamically created, very similar to our first one, but dynamic fragment app. This has been HLS John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. I hope this has helped you understand more fragments and dynamic fragments. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see you around.